Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a great question, you can easily test your school knowledge, you can easily test your algebra skills real quick. Here in the middle of the screen we have a really interesting math question. So 2 plus 2 times 2 divided by 2 minus 2. So what is the correct answer? Here we have three options, so right now we can easily guess what is the correct answer, A, B or C, and write your solution down into the comment section real quick, and in a few minutes we will check our answer. So it is like a great quick, and I would say like a relaxing math question, like challenging question for everyone and your age doesn't matter here we can easily test our school knowledge okay so here's our question in the we can easily see this in the middle of the screen three options so right now we can easily guess what is the correct answer a b or c so what makes all the difference in the world is the order we do these problems okay so do we do like addition first do we do maybe multiplication first or as the second step third step division or we have subtraction our four step or in different order maybe we can we can start with this multiplication right here maybe addition second step yeah maybe division third step four step and right here we will have like a lot of a lot of combinations to be honest right here we have a lot of combination but in terms of the all this order of operation all of this stuff we will have different answer for, so for example if we use this combination so first addition multiplication division subtraction we have one answer for example a for example if you use another order of operation we will have completely different answer because we use completely different order for example this answer answer b and you know it's not a good thing in terms of math when we say okay correct answer is both a and b it's a wrong stuff we need to know what is a correct order of operation correct principles correct algorithm and it's not works only in math basically it, it used in area science we need to know what is the correct principle correct order correct math operation correct correct algorithm and in this case it works absolutely the same so in this case we have addition we have addition, we have right here multiplication, right here, we have division, and we have we have subtraction in the end. So right now we need to group all this stuff. So we need to guess what is the correct order to perform this mathematical operation. But I want to say a few words about it. This is not all order mathematical operators because moreover we can easily have like powers, we can easily have parentheses, we can easily have like inner parentheses, something like that, and a lot of a lot of this stuff. And we need to know how can we order all of this. And for this case, in this part, I'm going to show you about the thing which is called order of operation. Here you can see this is our order order of operation this order of operation called pemdas order of operation so maybe a lot of students hear about bodmas order of operation but it just depending on what country you live in because this bodmas is mainly used in in the uk in india but to be honest the order of operation for brackets orders division multiplication addition subtraction is absolutely the same for both things so this is absolutely the same stuff and uh, this pemdas this is like a quick checklist so each of these letters stands for something for example letter p which has like the highest priority okay we could be talking about from left to right order because letter p has the highest highest priority okay so letter p stands for parentheses it means parentheses and we are talking about this type of brackets these type of brackets uh, people mainly use this type of brackets as well and sometimes maybe this type of squiggly brackets it just depending on what country you live in it just it just is okay eh? we are talking about group and symbols so this is our group and symbols and whenever we have expression with parentheses we need to evaluate this expression as as the first step okay so after after parentheses we have exponents so we're talking about basic powers so don't be scared about it this is our powers for example we have 2 to the power 3 well we need to raise this 2 to the power 3 before moving forward to the next uh, to the next uh, part okay so 2 to the power 3 5 to the power 100 we're talking about basic basic power so 100 we're talking about 3 so we need to we need to raise this okay so after our exponents we go to the next step we, next step is uh, our like multiplication division part so m stands for multiplication d stands for division and i mention it at once because we are talking about one common group so this is multiplication division division mixture multiplication and division group we're talking about uh, in a strict to uh, strict left to right order so basically when we have a mixture of multiplication and division we need to perform multiplication first okay because multiplication comes first from left from left to right but when we have a completely different thing when we have division multiplication mixture we need to perform it in a strict order from left to right and here in this case division is the first sign from left from left to right so quick example so we have two times three divided by five something like that so in this case multiplication is the first sign from left to right so multiplication is the first first step but when we have like two divided by five 
times 3. Well, we need to perform it in a strict order from left to right, and in this case, the first time from left to right is division. So right here, division first, multiplication first, so here is the main rule. Whenever we have a mixture of multiplication and division, or maybe addition and subtraction, because A stands for addition, S stands for subtraction, we need to perform it in a strict order from left, from left to right. Okay, so I really hope you understand it, because multiplication and division have the same and the same priority. We are talking about basic order of operation. I'm not talking about like implicit multiplication about basic thing because like 95% of students use this PEMDAS so I don't want to attack that division has the higher priority multiplication has the higher priority we have the same priority in the basic method literally the same priority and addition subtraction has the same priority as well because doesn't matter how can we perform our mathematical operators like 2 minus 3 plus 5 or uh, to uh, or in another order so we have the same priority and to be honest at this point you don't, don't need this order of operation because addition subtraction we can easily do this without order of operation okay so right now let's go let's look closely at our question right here we have it so right now let's try to let's try to solve it first of all i'm going to erase all of this stuff because i'm going to underline each of these letters and we're going to scan each of these uh, each of these elements to our to our question okay so the first step is parentheses Let's scan where we have parentheses, maybe these type of brackets we have in our question. I don't see any of those, we don't have any type of brackets, so we can easily skip this part. We don't have any, any parentheses. Let's go to the next step. The next step is exponents. So after parentheses, we need to scan our question in terms of like exponents. Let's scan where do we have it. As I told before, maybe 2 to the power 3 we have. I don't see any of those. 2 to the power 5, 2 to the power 100. I don't have any of those, so we can easily skip this part so we don't have both we don't have parentheses we don't have exponent which is really great right now let's move move forward to the next step the next step is multiplication and division group this is one common group so right now let's underline places where do we have multiplication and division signs let's look at it so right here we have looks like multiplication sign we have right here and we have division sign division sign right here so first of all we need to perform this expression in the middle and i'm gonna i'm gonna underline it with brackets with this type of bracket just in our head we can easily do this so it's not a real bracket we're gonna underline it that we need to perform we need to evaluate this expression right now let's look closely what do we have inside we have a mixture of multiplication and division so right now let's scan where do we have it where do we have multiplication division mixture we have it right here so whenever we have a mixture of multiplication and division we need to perform it in a strict order from left to right in our case we have only two math operators so we have multiplication and division the first sign from left to right is this multiplication so we need to perform multiplication first so as a result we have two plus let's keep these uh, brackets right here so okay this is imaginary bracket so don't be uh, confused about it so i'm going to change my pen real quick so let's use these um, brackets right here imaginary brackets that we need to perform it at first okay and we have two plus the next thing we have two times two equal to equal to four and we still have this division by 2, don't forget about it, division by 2, and we still have minus 2 in the end. So we still need to need to evaluate this expression in our like imaginary brackets, okay? So 4 divided by 2, we can easily solve it, we can easily do this, so as a result we have 2 plus 4 divided by 2 equal to 2, and we have minus minus 2. So as you can see, we complete our multiplication part, I'm going to use this my red pen, my green pen, and multiplication division we easily complete it in a strict order from left to right, so exactly this case. So we have multiplication division mixture, so multiplication first, then than division okay so we, we complete it right now in conclusion we need to we need to uh, find our answer because we, this is a very basic thing and right now we do need this order of operation yeah we have addition we have subtraction we have addition we have subtraction we can easily complete our complete our uh, uh, operators yeah we can easily do this but we don't need this anymore we can easily forget about our order of operation because this is very basic stuff we can easily use this without order of operation so 2 plus 2 equal to 4 minus 2 equal to equal to 2 so our correct answer according to PEMDAS is is 2 
and you know I'm going to show you a few hints about it, a few um, tricks right here because this is a very tricky question. So just keep in mind that according to uh, our order of operation correct answer is 2. But I'm going to show you a few really interesting hints. I hope you will understand it. So uh, first hint is the next one. So just keep in mind that correct answer is 2. I go uh, to the beginning right here. So here is our here is our question and let me just erase all of this stuff real quick. I'm going to show you a few really important tricks. Maybe you are like advanced advanced in and algebra so I hope you will understand it so here in the middle we have really important expression so we have times 2 divided by 2 and a lot of students like don't pay attention to this to this stuff in the middle but if you look closely what do we do with this 2 we multiply this 2 by 2 and then we divide by 2 okay so saying in, in other words we multiply it and we divide it so to be honest it changed nothing it literally changed nothing because we just multiply it and then divide if you don't understand it you can easily look at this example so for example we add to this 2 we add for example uh, let me change my pen real quick so let's change for example to blue so we have plus for example 3 and minus 3. To be honest, it changed nothing, okay? Because we add 3 and then we subtract 3, it changed nothing. We can easily cancel this expression. And the same case right here, because we multiply it by 2 and then we, we divide by 2. To be honest, we can easily cancel all of this stuff because it changed nothing. So just look at it. So for example, we have 2 times 3 divided by 3, all right? So 2 times 3 equal to 6 and 6 times 3 equal to equal to 2. So we go back to our first first value so it changed nothing we can easily we can easily cancel times three and divide it by three and saying in other words right here two times two equal to four four divided by two equal to two so we have absolutely the same thing without this expression in the middle so we leave we, we leave it with with two and we can easily cancel it but when you don't need this uh, if you don't need the don't know this trick you can easily use order of operation down the matter you can easily real quick multiply two times two and then and then divide this is extremely important important trick because this trick will help you a lot uh, this trick will help you a lot in in that way so i'm going to show you this way right here so we have times two and we have division by two we can easily cancel it so we'll leave this expression with two plus two and minus minus two our correct answer is is 2 okay so i really hope you understand this really uh, really interesting uh, really interesting trick don't forget about it okay and right now a few words about our correct answer let's look closely about our correct answer so well when you choose correct answer a uh, and you say the correct answer is three well you need to review a little bit your basic math you need to review a little bit because there is no way right here correct answer is three there is no way three is a correct answer to our um, to our question and if your answer is four well it's it's looked like a correct answer because a lot of students try to group it try to figure out how can we combine all this stuff we have all the time two maybe four is a correct answer but when you choose correct answer four well you need to review a little bit your basic mess and uh, what about this option c because to be honest we said before that correct answer is two but we don't have this two right here and a lot of students are confused they try to find they try to look at it from another perspective where can we find this too but if you look close to 6 divided by 3 this is the same 2 okay 6 divided by 3 this is the same 2 and if you choose this correct answer 2 well you can be easily be proud of yourself that you solve this question like that when you uh, choose that correct answer is is c it's it's really great to be honest that you solve it question absolutely uh, absolutely correct so here's my explanation to this question of course here's my explanation to this question according to PEMDAS order of operation uh, here I show you a um, really interesting hints about this question so we can easily cancel this expression uh, let me change my pen real quick we can easily cancel it with the with this uh, with this thing we can easily cancel it so as a result we have 2 plus 2 equal to 4 right here and we have minus 2 which is equal to 2 so a correct answer to our question is option C. I really hope you understand it. And a few moments about this question because you know sometimes uh, you plug in this question in your in your calculator and you're like, okay, something wrong. Uh, my, my answer is not the same as right here. So try to plug in the whole entire problem. So from left side to right side. And then your calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation because you know sometimes happen that you that you plug in this 2 plus 2 in your calculator of course calculator say okay here we have 4 but then your calculator doesn't know what we have further but further what do you have you have 
multiplication right here, you have division right here, and you know, it's kind of confusing stuff for your calculator. So try to plug in the whole entire problem, okay? So from left side to right side, and then your calculator is, okay, I have addition, I have addition right here, I have multiplication, I have division, I have subtraction, I have all the time too, so I know how can we, how can we group it, I know, I can easily solve it and I can easily write a correct answer that the correct answer is is two. All right, so it was my quick explanation about this question. I really hope you understand it. I really hope you learn something new and wish you all the best in your life. You can also write your response, write your quick quick notes about this challenge. I really appreciate it when you leave your response in the comment section. I really appreciate when you when we like exchange information. It's it's really great to to do this. So wish you all the best in your life. Have a great day. Take care of yourself. Also write your notes into the comment section what you think about this type of question and wish you all the best in your life. Have a great day and see you in the next videos.